Hey everyone, it's Liz and welcome back to my channel. Today I have something really, really fun for you guys. It is my NYX Face Awards entry. Guys, I'm entering the NYX Face Awards. I'm so excited. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and share it with your friends if you like. It's very, very exciting. I have been watching the NYX Face Awards since it started. I've just seen so many people grow from this and I really hope to be one of those people. So this is my look that I've created for my entry. It is something a little bit more different, a little bit more uh, not so much picture day, um, you know, look, but it's something that I uh, got from this artist on Instagram. His username is milk1422 and he does these amazing face charts and I am just totally obsessed with them. I kind of did it my own way. I added a few things here and there, um, but this is what the face chart looks like. And this is what my look looks like, woo. So if you want to learn how to get this look, then just keep on watching. So by priming your eyes, you're going to help make the eyeshadow stick and last longer. It's going to help, um, you know, just keep everything locked in for the whole entire day and it's not going to move around anywhere. And I also have another little secret that I would love to share with you guys. So before doing your eyeshadow, you know how sometimes you just feel like when you're blending, it just isn't blending well and it might be because your eye primer might be a little bit too sticky or something like that. Add a bone colored or a light colored tan or light color beige or something that's like close to your skin color and you're going to just pat it on to help set the eyeshadow. So then all your eyeshadow won't crease or anything, it's just going to blend very, very nicely. So while I let that sit, I'm going to show you guys what look we're going to be doing today. It's very, very pretty pink and it kind of reminds me of Valentine's Day with a twist, you know, onto the eyes. So what we're going to be doing first is taking a pink eyeshadow. I'm kind of using more of like a hot pink and I'm just going to tap it off on the side just so... Um, you know, we don't get any excess anything that we don't want. And what we're going to be doing is just kind of using this as a crease color. So as you can see, I'm going in very, very lightly, almost like you can't hardly even see it, right? So we're just going to build the color and make a gradient effect. So we're going to take the hot pink on the inside and we're going to go out into a light pink. Very, very pretty. So then once you're done with that, what I'm going to be doing is just taking a little bit of the pink as well. I'm just going to put it right underneath my lower lash line just to smoke it out. I'm going to be taking an orange color and then just putting it dab right over here by the eyebrow. Alrighty, so now onto the eyeliner part. You're going to want to take your favorite eyeliner. I suggest one that has a brush tip to it and not the felt tip. Um, this kind, this couple of different eyeliners that you can use. I mean, you could use the one with the felt tip, but I just find the one with the brush tips are just way easier to work with. So what we're going to be doing is creating kind of three cat eye effects. So we're going to be doing one into the crease, one in the natural eye line, and then we're going to be doing another one right below as well. To do this, the easiest way that we can do this is by putting our elbows right on the table. So by doing this, it's going to just help control the steadiness of your hand, especially if you have a shaky hand. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to be doing is taking our liquid eyeliner. And you want to make sure that you can get as much product off as you can, but still keeping some on there. This is just going to help us so we can create the... Um, so we can create the line first and then we're going to go in and darken it up along the way. So first we're going to do the crease part. I kind of start in the middle and then I'm going to work my way out to do the cat eye. And this is a pretty thin line. You can go as thin or as thick as you want. It doesn't really matter. It's kind of up to you. Something like that. I don't know if you guys can see that all too well because it's so light. But see when I open up my eyes... Like, I want to make sure that the line is right on top, it's not inside of the crease. Because if you put it inside of the crease, then it's going to um, make a dot onto your eyelid. We don't want that. Step one is complete. So do the best as you can. I'm letting this dry right now so that if I, like, open up my eyelids and then mysteriously somehow, some way, 
it went too low or something like that, it's going to stay. Okay, so next thing that you want to do is make a second wing. So I'm going to be doing a thick winged eyeliner. I'm really going to wing it out a lot. So now what I'm going to be doing is me me under eye. <laughs> now I'm going to do me under eyeliner. I'm going to start in the middle. Alrighty, so once you have some of the lines in and everything, it should look something like this. And now I'm going to be taking eyeliner. This is actually a purple eyeliner just to kind of spice it up. I'm going to line my waterline. And you can really do anything with your waterline. You can even put white as well. I have this really, and this really awesome white eyeliner from NYX. If I want to make my eyes look brighter or bigger, I just put it right underneath my waterline and then it helps to make them pop a little bit more. So now on to the fun part because this is the part that I really, really love. So I've been meaning to try out a few of these uh, NYX Vivid Bright Liquid Eyeliners. Guys, these are, no joke, one of my favorite products I've ever used, which is the reason why I wanted to do this look because they were inspired by these pens. Now I wish I could have gotten all of them because, let me tell you, these are absolutely amazing. So before we do that, I'm going to go in with my black and then do a few dots. A few dots over here. What I like about this is that it makes the look a little bit more festival-like too. So hey, Coachella, hey, what's up? <laughs> First, I'm going to be taking my pink, which is called Vivid Pastel. And I'm going to... Go along some of the lines that they've created. So now what we're going to be doing is kind of creating an eyelash effect on. Now what you can do, you can also just stop here if you want to. Um, this is like such a cute look as well. But I'm going to go a little bit more extra with this look. And I'm going to kind of do the winged like lash effect that they have going on. So kind of like what they do is just kind of flicker like painting. Okay, so now I'm gonna just kind of go around and then do little dots here and there. Like so. And then I'm gonna do some on my eyebrows. This color right here, it's called Vivid Blossom. And I'm just gonna go in and then just do a little, you know, here and there too as well. I want to do my foundation next and then I'm going to go on to everything else. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do with my concealer, um, I always use my dark under eye concealer by NYX. It's one of my favorites. I use this literally every single day. It's probably about to hit pan any day now. And this really helps cover up any dark circles or anything that I want to conceal before I conceal underneath my eyes. So before I did this whole entire look, I did put a primer on my face. So just kind of put it on real quick and let it sit, let it dry. So I just take two pumps of my foundation, I like using circular motions on to the skin. And another tip for you is to always go up. This encourages the skin to not droop. <laughs> so eventually, you know, when we get to that age, we have to get wrinkles. I mean, everyone goes through it, you know, it's a thing. Um, then, you know, it might cause less wrinkles. Then don't forget your neck. You always want to make sure you blend your foundation down to your neck. So next I'm going to be taking some concealer and I'm going to be concealing my under eyes, my nose, and then a little bit of up. This is just a little bit of contouring. So next I'm going to be taking my NYX sponge. You can use this on um, your face wet or dry. It's really, really nice. And it also has a flat side. This is the like holy grail sponge that's out there right now. You guys gotta go check it out. It's really, really cool. Don't worry if you get it onto the look. If you like smudge out your look a little, we can always go back. That's not a problem. So next I'm going to be taking translucent powder to set all my makeup. I love setting my makeup. So it just, you know, it sits and stays there. I let it bake for a little. Not too long, about five minutes or even like just like a few seconds. 
just to let it soak in. And now on to contouring, which is my favorite thing as well. I love, 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 love to contour my face. And so when contouring, what you want to do is kind of make a three on your face. And that is exactly where you need to contour. Other than that, I contour my nose as well because I like to make my nose look a little bit more slimmer. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. I like taking an angle brush like this, squeezing my cheeks like a fish, and then just blending. Key to contouring is blending. Always blend out your shadows, always blend out your makeup, always blend out everything until your hand is killing you. Okay? Okay. <laughs> this look has a very strong contour, so I'm going to go a little bit more extra onto my contour today. I usually just do a light contour. But because today's a little bit more special, we're going to be doing something like that. And then I always make sure I bring it down to my neck as well. Because anything that you put on your face, I mean like base of a face, like foundation, translucent powder, bronzer, you always want to make sure you get down to your neck. Next I'm going to go in with some blush. Like that. Perfect. Ooh. And of course, don't forget your highlighter. I... I am obsessed with highlighter. I love it so, so much. Go as extra as you want. Just let it glow. Okay, so now to finish off this look, I'm just going to go in and just kind of do a little, some more of those little um, lashy kind of things as well on my under eye. I'm going to go in and just do a few more dots here and there. Now that we have practically everything almost done, I'm going to go and do my lashes real quick off camera because Lord only knows if I try to put them on on camera then they're going to literally look awful. So give me one second. <laughs> Alright, so I have the eyelashes on. I'm just going to go in with a tiny bit of mascara, especially for my bottom lashes. And I'm just going to complete this look by putting on some glitter because why not, right? <laughs> So the last thing that I have to do is just put on my lipstick and I'll be all set and ready to go. Because it's very bright lipstick and I'm also going to add some of this NYX lipstick. This is in their Lip Smacking and the color is Gem. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Once again, don't forget to thumbs up if you like and share with your friends. Yeah, tell me what you think down below. Wish me luck. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.